So we're at Boneyard Creek, some of the springs that feed into Boneyard Creek in the White Mountains, and we are looking for the Three Forks Spring Snail. And we've got a biologist here who is doing a formal search <laughs> for the spring snail, and the way we do this is by pulling up some muck and some rocks and some plants and just looking underneath for what amounts to be a black grain of sand that happens to be in the shape of a snail. So we look and we probe. We also document what else that we find, such as other arthropods, caddisflies, spiders, beetles, frogs, as well as the invasive crayfish, if we find some, which you can see right here, we have an exoskeleton of a large mature crayfish that we have found at this particular site. Although we did not see any live crayfish this time. We also take water samples, the pH of the water, the conductivity of the creek, and then we record them all on a data sheet which then gets handed over to the Arizona Game and Fish Department as part of their scientific record. Let's take a closer look and see what we have here in the muck and the mud. Are you finding anything, Ellen? No. Oh, well, there's a spider. There's a lot of crayfish, if you're looking. Uh, not crayfish. Um, the freshwater the shrimp. Freshwater we see a lot shrimp. of freshwater shrimp. Mm -hmm. There's something right in there. There's a little spider. He might have taken off when he got camera shy. We've only found one snail in this creek. And Ellen did find a snail, which can very well be a major find for this particular spring site. We are actually surving this area because of the, uh, po we are looking at the effects of the wallow fire <gasps> on these spring sites. Did you see, do you think you found another snail? Is that a snail? No, it's a rock, cleverly disguised as a snail. snail. I think, wait. Could it be? We don't know, but onward we go to the next site to uh, look for snails along beautiful, beautiful Boneyard Creek, one of the most ecologically diverse stream systems in the White Mountains.